Greetings, I am the Archangel Michael, and it is truly my highest honor to connect with all of you. Most beloved lightworkers, don't think that we do not notice those big, beautiful hearts that beat inside of each and every one of you. Don't think that the angels and your spirit guides don't feel the emotions that flow through your being. Oh, we do, and we are here to say that it is wonderful. You uplift us as much as we uplift you. You were very brave to choose and act upon an incarnation on earth at this time. Not only that, but you've awakened to higher states of being as well as higher states of consciousness despite incredible odds in the world of distractions and programming. Be very proud of this, even on the low vibe days in which you can barely move, barely breathe, or even get out of bed. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate the experience. We angels celebrate humanity every day within the higher realms as we watch more and more souls awaken to true freedom, truth, understanding, and love. See the love in everyone and in everything. It is truly all there is. And there is no need for anything else but love. Incarnated Angels Many spiritually awakened humans often ask whether or not angels incarnate as human beings themselves. There is much debate about this topic, for angels have a profound role in almost all religions and spiritual practices. Some believe that angels are soulless servants of the divine, or automatons of source and spirit, but that's boring. Who would want such a mindless and choiceless existence? Angels do in fact try out the human experience. In the New Age spiritual community, these are known as Earth Angels or Incarnated Angels. Many of you beloved children of light listening right now may be, in fact, of angelic lines and origins. The key is to remember that angels would never ask upon anyone with which they are not willing to do themselves. So this brings up the question of how can angels oversee and protect humanity? if they had no idea of what humanity went through on a very personal level. Once again, angels would never ask upon beautiful souls, which they are not willing to do themselves. Spiritual evolution comes from service to others, and service to others requires tremendous sacrifice on many levels. Many of you can resonate with this very personally. As in all things, there is free will and choice. When an angel chooses to incarnate as a human being, they go through the same guidance, study, wisdom, and lovingly push as any other brave child of creation. Incarnating onto schoolroom earth at this time is very difficult for any soul, regardless of their status, position, name, rank, title, or state of being within the higher dimensions and other universes. I leave this up to you and your thoughts and discernment, for there are endless variations of perception in regards to this topic. Just know that you are very loved, cherished, and adored, and the higher realms are with you in every reality, every dimension, in every way possible. The 3D illusion and world of distractions around you may try to make you think otherwise, so be careful and ask yourself, is seeing believing, or is believing truly seeing? Archangelic Fractals Do Archangels Incarnate? The answer is very simple, my loves, yes. However, Archangels have the ability to split their soul essences into many fractals. This is a term used by the spiritual community as it likes to call such a phenomenon. These fractals are the whole of the Archangel as well as the whole of the human counterpart. This beautiful exchange allows Archangels to experience many incarnations in many shapes and forms 
and to be of better service to all through this splitting. Many of these archangelic fractals are not even aware of their origin for the spiritual awakening process is a very difficult one for all human beings. Each soul, regardless of how they choose to incarnate, risk becoming involved in cycles of karma with other souls. So many archangelic fractals also experience the hardships of karmic lessons as anyone else would. Now, I can sense what many of you are thinking. How can one tell if one is an archangelic fractal or incarnated angel? This is left up to the individual soul or soul fractal. Some are quite obvious as they show signs and behaviors that resonate heavily with a particular angelic energy or frequency. Many fractals come out fully and express who they are without a single doubt in their mind. Some will keep it a secret and not reveal it to anyone because of fear of being thought of as crazy, or perhaps they are just very private individuals. To some, once they discover their angelic origin, they may feel an overwhelming sense of unworthiness due to their human behavior and choices throughout their lives. This may make them keep it a secret or very private. It is truly up to the individual. However, if you want to see the origin of any soul, look for the subtle signs around them and look for behaviors of angelic qualities. It's there if you look. It's important to note that if someone reveals such a thing, such as being an incarnated angel or archangelic fractal, please take it with an open heart and mind. Once an individual feels the power of angelic energy flowing through their being, they will display angelic behaviors. It is to be celebrated, not ridiculed or belittled. Support one another, for many of you are angels or ascended masters, extraterrestrial super beings, gods, goddesses, deities, the list is truly endless. The universe is as diverse with life as any rainforest on earth, life upon life upon life. The uniqueness and diversity is endless and infinite. This is beautiful and should always be celebrated. How can one tell if they have angelic origins. Take a moment and imagine an angel standing in front of you. What does this angel look like? How do you feel being in the presence of this angel? Do you feel scared, defensive, unworthy, shocked? Or do you feel delighted, dazzled, amazed, and have a sense of closeness and sense of family? No one, and I mean this with all the love in my own heart, no one, can tell you who you are. It is up to you to decide and know without a doubt who your soul's origin and your higher self's being of perfection is. It's fine to take in information from all around you, as all around you is a reflection of yourself, for we are all one. But it is ultimately up to you to know, to your core, without any doubt at all, what and who you are. This sounds like a paradox, but that's perfect because life is mysterious and paradoxes make you think. Paradoxes make you think and seek. Paradoxes are proof of intelligent design and are excellent tools to help you explore and expand. Always seek, my loves. Always look for clues and answers. Life loves to serve itself, and life will give you those breadcrumbs, those clues, those little tidbits of information to help you smile, expand, and seek. Prayer also helps. If you are unsure about your soul's origin or the identity of your higher self, then pray, ask, and receive. Patience is key to spiritual identification. Remember, my warriors of light, the universe is infinite in time and space, 
and patience will only delay the true answer. I am the Archangel Michael, and so be it.